Chris is asking, uh, was China's massive new loan growth a source of liquidity for developed markets? And if so, do you see this year's relatively tighter conditions impacting the U.S.? Well, we, we definitely see it as tighter in the U.S. and tighter in China. So, and by the way, those things are correlated. When the U.S. gets tight, China has to get tight because there's a currency that, there's a currency setup that they're continuing to try to protect against. They don't want to see this massive breakdown in the Chinese yuan. So, uh, you probably have something to add to that. Oh, On the yeah. Chinese side of tightening versus easing last year it was epic. Yeah, for sure. I think it, it, a lot of the recovery in commodity prices that facilitated and perpetuated a recovery in, in the cyclical side of not only the U.S. economy, but a lot of the key emerging market economies that are mostly exposed to, to commodity inflation. Yeah, certainly. Last year was a massive stimulus year for China, mm -hmm. um, and they really uh, reflated their economy pretty substantially. Um, this year, we were sort of uh, making the call that they would come up against that at the same time that they have incremental pressure to tighten externally because of the U.S. dollar. Um, I think after this weekend, maybe that pressure has subsided on the margins. It's still there. Um, certainly relative to last year, but maybe on the margins, uh, you probably don't slow as fast as, as initially thought. Um, so that's something we'll, we'll discuss in, in a broader note today.